Dhananjay, you talk about uh, making friends with death. And that is a friend most of us really don't want. So, how do you say that? How do you elaborate this? See, precisely. It is a friend that most of us don't want, but it is a friend that is with us all the time. And it's a wonderful companion once we realize that it is with us all the time. I see death not as a culmination or ending of something, but rather a great beginning, a new journey, a celebration. And once we realize how wonderful death as a companion is, as we make friends with it, we gain tremendous wisdom. And where does this wisdom come from? Our own spiritual heritage has wonderful wisdom and it's a great beacon for us to follow. Can you explain a little further about this? Sure. See, there's some basic transitions one goes through as one approaches the final end of life. There was a great person named Elizabeth Kubler-Ross who worked with the dying and she has done great work. And she talks about these stages. So the stages briefly are like, first is denial that it can be happening. Second is why me, why not someone else? Third is bargaining, you know, what can I do something better so that I don't have to do this? The fourth is depression, you know, it's a despair that hits us when, when we realize where we're going. But the final great stage is that of acceptance. And that is when we truly accept what is happening. I observed my father-in-law approach these stages in his final days. And I was thinking they made him comfortable with painkillers and everything. But I was thinking I could have chanted Upanishads with him. I could have discussed with him why did Krishna to tell Arjuna not to grieve. I could have talked with him about the story of Nachiketa from Kotopanishad who asked the Lord of Death, what is the secret of immortality? See, there is no guarantee in life for everything, but this friendship is guaranteed. That's a very nice explanation. Uh, however, I must ask you that uh, friendship to all of us means fun, joy, no, enjoying. No, 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 no. Yes, of course. Of course, of course. Friends mean fun, having good food together, and enjoying parties. However, at the same time, friends also bring us great wisdom. And friends bring us close to reality. Friends teach us how to accept things, how to accept good things and bad things. And what greater friend than death who would teach us that? What greater friend than death? Now the question, how do we do that? Well, in our heritage, our meditation practice teaches us how to do that. But how do we bring this knowledge or assimilate this concept in your day-to-day -day life? You see, someone asked Dalai Lama, how do we accept death? And Dalai Lama said, through meditation. That's a wonderful, wonderful answer. We lead our life but we do not include our meditation practice in our day-to-day -day life. Our meditation practice needs to include the awareness of this friendship, of this so-called new friend that we understand and we learn from. And this is something we would discuss more in detail at the convention. Yes, one last question. Meditation. The word is very fascinating to a lot of people. However, how can a common person who has never meditated in his life, how can he achieve that? Are there any necessary steps that you could uh, teach us or tell us? See, meditation is very simple. One of the things in meditation is we don't do meditation, we are in meditation. So meditation doesn't mean that we do something because that is coming out of ego. Meditation means just observing every moment of our lives, what is happening, to be aware of things as they are and not as we want them to be. So that is the secret of meditation. So in our session, we will do some guided meditations that 
we will practice and we will learn from. But it's very simple. My teacher used to tell me, he says, don't make difficult, don't make easy. Just do it. Thanks, Dhananjay. Uh, I'm sure that people, those who attend this session at the BMM convention, uh, would be definitely enlightened with knowledge and uh, they can certainly benefit from this. So thanks once again and uh, hope that we get a good response for this program at the BMM convention. Thank you.